Um, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's literally like 1 o'clock right now. Oh, I'm fucking stupid, it's actually 11.58. Okay. But I asked on Instagram for you guys to tell me your secrets, um, because I want to expose your guys' secrets. <laughs> I feel like that'll be fun. I feel like you guys are very like me, so like, I feel like a lot of these things aren't going to surprise me. <laughs> But I still am really excited to read them and I'm just gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with my makeup I'm just gonna do it normally, but I'm gonna read some of y'all's secrets I'm not gonna say the names. I'll keep that private. I don't want to fully expose you guys Um, yeah, I'm still sick. I've literally been sick for my last like Four videos and I haven't gotten better and I don't know what's going on with me. I don't have Miss Rona I don't know what I have. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Okay, let's just start off <laughs> pretty good. Um, to all my family or anybody that would be offended of me saying these types of things, um, just don't watch this video. These are other people's experiences, not mine. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wouldn't do none of this shit though. The day I lost my virginity, I fucked three guys. Holy shit, you just went for it, didn't you? Did you want to do it? Uh, if you wanted to do it, then I support it, you know? Um, if you don't regret it, I support it. <laughs> whatever whatever you want to do. That's crazy, though, girl. You went for it. <laughs> you really fucking went for that shit. I was a cheerleader in college three years ago and had a threesome with two football players. It was amazing. <laughs> Y'all are so crazy. I support hotivity. Like, I support people that want to be crazy like that like do what you fucking want who cares you only live once yesterday i had sex for the first time in a long time girl it felt like i was losing my virginity these are all about sex once you go like 30 days you're practically a virgin again you know this girl was talking about how she wanted to fight me but when i pulled up she brought her mom so i left when i saw her i threw a brick at her <laughs> oh my god you guys are <laughs> Am I allowed to be laughing at stuff like this? I used to talk to my soccer coach when I was in high school and we almost hooked up. He wasn't ugly. <sighs> These men out here really be pedophiles. I have a plan for my fiance's baby mama if the purge really happens. <laughs> Girls are fucking crazy. <laughs> I support it. I'm dating a married man and I don't know if, I didn't know at first but now I'm stuck. Girl, if he's with you and he has a whole ass wife, I don't think that's the man you should be with. <laughs> Cause that really says a lot about his character. You know what I mean? I send booty pics literally every day. I support it. <laughs> I wanna suck the soul out of my homie. <laughs> I think we've all been there. <laughs> Honestly, See if he's down. <laughs> and if he's not, respect that. But if he is, then go for it. You only live once. I suck dick for the first time in a movie theater bathroom. That's cute. Waited for my parents to leave to church, then texted a guy to come through, and I lost my virginity. <laughs> um, these are all so sexual. I just, like, hope that people I know aren't watching this. I mean, like, people I know are fine, but just, like, people that, like, wouldn't want to hear me say these things. I took four ecstasies, a tab, and a molly, only one I think, and ended up butt ass naked at a bridge. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. That's a crazy ass story, bitch. I want to be your friend. My first kiss was at 21. That's not a bad thing. That's okay. I wish there were things that I could experience now that I already done, you know, because it makes like everything is so much less exciting when you like do things super young, like, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of things that I wish that I waited to do. I had sex in an abandoned bowling alley with my old high school boyfriend. That sounds so fun. That's like a really good story. I'm going to say that about so many things, but that is a good story. <laughs> I don't know if you filmed this yet, but once I shit myself when I was very drunk. I peed myself when I was drunk, but I've never shit myself. But, you know, I'm only 20, so maybe it'll happen one day. When I was 10, I stole my grandma's cigarettes and smoked them in my backyard at 3 a.m. First of all, why were you up at 3 a.m. as a 10-year-old? And, oh my god, 10 years old to smoke a cigarette? What do you do now? Are you okay? 
I hope you're doing well. I once poured nail polish all over my sister's new school clothes because she got mad. So she got me mad. Sibling stories are my favorite. You guys want to know something? My oldest sister, her name is Kristen. She literally just graduated with her master's degree. She's like hella smart. Anyways, um, she's like six years older than me. I was in kindergarten. So she, if she was six years older than me, I think it might have been like a middle school dance. I don't really remember because I was super young. So my sister was about to go to like, I think it was like a sixth grade like dance some, some type thing. But I literally shaved off half of her eyebrow. And it's like, I don't know why I did it. I have no explanation. I was so young. I don't even remember doing it. But I was told that I did that. And there's a picture of her when she's like dressed up and she's like in the front yard smiling. And she has half an eyebrow because I shaved it off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the reasoning behind it. <laughs> when I was 12, me and my friends were sugar babies and were making bank and got over 18K. That's illegal. I would always have to do my job and the manager wouldn't even check and I'd lie about saying I did. I did that at every job I had. <laughs> I once fucked a guy on his girlfriend's bed. Y'all are so bad. I fucked four guys which are all best friends and I'm still friends with all of them. <laughs> Girl, who cares? Boys do that shit all the time, so why can't girls? You know what I mean? Who cares? I literally support hoe activity. Like, do what you fucking want. As long as you're, like, not fucking guys, like, girls, like, boyfriends or, like, people that have, like, a partner. Um, I support it, you know? As long as it's, like, consensual and they don't have anybody else in their life. <clears throat> who cares, you know? You only live once. Just be safe about it. I fucked two pair of brothers and one pair are twins. I mean, I think she means she fucked two brothers and then she fucked another set of brothers, but two of them were twins. <laughs> this one time I shot on my brother's pillow and told him it was the cat. <laughs> Me and my friends egged, keyed, and put flour and syrup on my ex's car and popped his tire two times. Well, maybe it was what he deserved. I bet it was. Bitches don't just do crazy shit like that for no reason. This kid I was hanging out with that school shit in a trash can. <laughs> okay. I put my own shit on my old manager's car door handles. She had to crawl into the back. Damn, what did she do to you? I told my ex I had a miscarriage, but it was really an abortion. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Because you never know how the person's gonna react if you like want to do that and it's your fucking choice So he's off. He's your ex now. So like would you have wanted to have a baby with that person? My boyfriend jerked off to my mom's nudes Girl, I lost my virginity to a man while his wife and children were asleep upstairs Damn. I peed in my brother's crazy ex-girlfriend sham shampoo bottle right before she showered. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, it sounds like you had a reason to do that, so I support it. <laughs> I farted in my ex's food. <laughs> Someone said I'm gay. Okay, baby, I won't tell no one. Your secret's safe with me. I used to tell little kids that I'd kill people so they wouldn't bully my little brother. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. If I had a younger sibling, I'd probably do the same thing. I'm a trans girl who isn't accepted, but I wish I could could one day look as pretty as you. Bitch. I, let me look at your profile, bitch. Let's see what you look like, Miss Girl. Okay, bitch. I can see your picture from right here, and you already look like a motherfucking baddie. You're private, so I can't see your pictures. But you look like a baddie. I'm secretly really unhappy and I can't change what's going on in my life and I don't know how. Whatever you're going through, it's probably temporary and it hopefully will like blow over and not be your life forever. So it sucks in the moment, but you just have to have faith or whatever, whatever you want to think. Um, in the future and know that you say like you're under 18 and like you can't get out of the situation right now because you're not old enough or something like that um you're gonna be your own person friends and family can't hold you back forever if that's the type of situation that you're in i don't know if it's a boyfriend seek help tell people that you trust things are temporary and you have your whole life to live and i promise you it's not gonna be like that forever 
I know that it sucks currently. Hopefully, one day soon, it's going to be better than it is right now. But I'm really sorry that you're going through whatever you're going through. And I really hope that things get better soon. That's all I have to say because I'm not that good at giving advice. <laughs> I fucked my best friend's dad. Did you really do that? Are you still friends with this girl? Or this boy? I secretly think my husband is the laziest piece of shit ever. I watch lesbian porn a lot. <laughs> Girls are so fucking funny. I love girls. Girls are so fucking funny. When I was little, I used to shit in my grandma's backyard. <laughs> I pee in the shower sometimes. I pee in the shower all the time. I didn't know that was like something that should be shamed. I mean, it just goes down the drain. It's not like I shit in the shower. I fucked one of my dad's friends. His nickname is Oyster. Are you of age? I hope you're of age. All this person said was, I'm a hoe. Hee <laughs> I support it. <laughs> I suck dick for one dollar, but it's fine because he was cute, so. Why did you even accept the dollar if he was cute? <laughs> I don't know who my baby daddy is. Fuck my life. Bitch, go on Maury. I'll come to the show. Um, Shop Lash Link on Instagram sent me this lash book, and these lashes are so fucking big. Like, oh my god. They're fucking beautiful. Um, I'm gonna wear these ones. They're in the, the style Tolani. I'm gonna leave them down below. I caught my managers having sex in a parking lot of the mall and they saw me. So the next day at work, it was super awkward and they tried to bribe me with gratis free makeup we get from brands to keep my mouth shut. But I told HR instead and they both lost their job. Damn bitch, where were you working, Sephora? Gratis? Were you working at Ulta? Where were you? Where did this happen? <laughs> This girl said, one time in fourth grade, in the middle of class, I absolutely ripped ass, like dead ass. That was really a rhyme, bitch. <laughs> it was so loud, especially because it basically echoed in my damn chair, and my immediate response was to blame it, <laughs> blame my seat partner, Carlos. It was easy, and everyone laughed and blamed Carlos. To this day, my homies laugh about when Carlos damn near shit his pants while watching Pop Tropica <laughs> in class. I miss Pop Tropica. Aw. Um, I have a story about ripping ass in class. Um, in fourth grade, I was in this class. My teacher's name was Miss Obram. Um, and I was really fat in elementary school. Silent reading time, I ripped ass. I was so fucking embarrassed. And then I ripped ass, right? Everyone fucking knew it was me, but my first reaction was, oh my god, who just farted? And my teacher was like, why are you talking? It's silent reading time. And I was like, um, because someone farted. And then she was like... And then I got in trouble for talking. And she pulled me to the side after class and was like, why were you talking during silent reading time? Like, this bitch really did that to me. Like, obviously knowing I farted, but she was, like, questioning me. Like, just having to have me say it or something. But I was like, well, someone farted. And then she was like, okay, well, that next time that happens, you don't need to say it. And I was like, okay. And she's like, it was silent reading time. And then I got in trouble. But I was the one that ripped ass. But I was already fat. I didn't want people to make fun of me for farting. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do I look crazy? Be honest. The first time I went to a frat party, I went alone. I ended up butt-fucking one of the brothers with the handle of, of my best friend's electric razor and, someone's, and stole someone's mango jewel pods. The whole night was really fucking weird. You shoved a razor of... What? You shoved a fucking motorcycle ra... Hold on. You shoved an electric razor. You, I don't know why in my head I'm thinking of an electric scooter, but I think you're talking about like a razor. But you know what? An electric scooter sounds more fun. My ex was at my house and we was finna do the nasty right, so over here mid floor play, and then I put his dick in my mouth and that shit tasted so bad, girl. I kept blaming him and I made him wash his dick three times. Turns out I had touched a Tide Pod because I put my laundry to wash right before I got there and I hadn't washed my hands. <laughs> You were blaming him. <laughs> You're like, why your dick tastes like chemicals? <laughs> My secret is that I have a gorilla grip cooch. That's beautiful. I'm so proud of you. I hooked up with 10 guys from the same Navy division. So they were all co-workers. <laughs> I used to lick bricks when I was little because I thought it tasted good. Um, I used to eat ants in, when I was younger because I liked them because they were spicy and I recently told this to my friend Cynthia and she thought I was fucking crazy. Comment below if you used to eat ants because they tasted like pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my lips and my hair. I've officially read all the ones that I had seen, but yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I did my hair. I noticed that I didn't like this hairstyle in my story time, 
but I did it again. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that, um, exposing all of your guys' secrets. Um, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazier than me. You guys are crazier than I thought. <laughs> Y'all be fucking Jesus. I love you guys so much. Um, my merch is sitting in front of me. Like, I see it. I'm looking at it. You guys want a sneak peek? I'll show you guys the colors. These are the colors. There's a pink sweater and there's a black sweater. And they're hella cute. This video was fun. It was nice hearing how horrible and crazy you guys are. You guys aren't horrible, but you guys are bad as hell. But, I mean, there's a reason that... We have this connection that we do and there's a reason that you're subscribed to me because I'm honestly equally as crazy. I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy and you guys aren't going crazy in quarantine. Um, get out of bed. Do something productive even if you're in your house. I know that it's hard, but it'll make you feel better. I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Jesus loves you. Jesus also is smoking a joint in the shirt. <laughs>